First, so train passengers in the West have endured a second day of disruption because of a strike by one of the main rail unions. The walkout by RMT members has just ended, but the effects will continue to be felt throughout this evening. Martin Jones is at Bristol Parkway station for us now. How is it looking? Well, fairly calm at Parkway tonight. Uh, as you say, the strike, the two-day strike, which began on Wednesday evening, ended a few minutes ago at half past six. It was essentially a dispute between the RMT union and their employers, First Great Western, about the introduction of a new fleet of electric trains. The union said it would lead to job losses. Their employers, First Great Western, said it wouldn't. So there have been delays and cancellations across the network uh, in the West Country over the past couple of days. Uh, but when I was spoke to, speaking to passengers a little bit earlier, the picture of how much disruption it had caused them was mixed. 15 minutes early this morning, but nothing too out of the ordinary, to be honest. It's been really, really busy, but it's not actually been too bad today. I mean, everyone's been quite helpful at the train station, kind of saying, oh, we've got to go here. Got really busy as we were coming off. Uh, so we, we came from London, got off at Parkway, and it was getting very busy when we came on, when we came off, yeah. Now, First Great Western are expecting the disruption to continue into this evening, though, for everything to be back to normal tomorrow. But will there be more disruption later in the year? Well, perhaps. Today we've learned that a different union, the TSSA, is to ballot its members over strike action as well. Though these are managers rather than train staff, and first say that even if they do go on strike, it's unlikely to cause much disruption to services. As for the RMT themselves, well, they hope to get back round the table, but are promising further action if there's no resolution. Back to you. Martin, thank you. Now, if you